Hey, uh, just so you know, you can use the Bounty 5000 to revisit any planet you've been before. There's portal doors all over. You can just uh, use them whenever and grind for money, look for loot you miss, whatever. Up to you. Just thought I'd tell you. If you're seeing it, it's just the lucky roll of the dice. Hopped up on your TV, now you're listening. At the end of it, if you're still there, you're gonna get prizes. And now, the count, the big countdown! And here we go. We're gonna count all the way down from 85. All right, and we didn't start yet, so don't start counting down yet. We're gonna, we're gonna start at 85 in a few seconds. Those seconds do not count as part of the countdown. All right, here we go, you ready? I'm just getting prepped to do all the numbers. Here we go. 85. That was the start. That was the first number. Okay, just make it, just being clear. Don't want you to get confused. 84, that's the second number. 83, just gonna keep doing this. 82, 81. These aren't, uh, you know, they're not actually based on any clock. I can wait as long as I want between numbers. 81, I can't remember what number I was on. 81, 80. 79! There's no way you're not gonna get the prize if you wait the whole time. I promise. 78! 77! 76? Okay. 75! 74, how you doing? 73! 72, only 71 more after this. 72. 71. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. 70. 69, baby. All right. So this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. But setting in how many of these I got to do. It's annoying to count. Down or up. Either way, I don't like it. 66. This is not very fun for you, I bet. 63. 62, you still here? It's not that big of a deal. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. 62, did I already did I repeat that number? 62. 62! 62! 62. Drum roll, please, 62. All right, I'm just fucking with you, sorry, 61. 62, going up now. 63. 64 again. This is gonna suck for you. 65. When will I start going down again? We don't know. 66. 67. 68. Shit, I'm supposed to be going down. Just remember. 67, sorry. Good luck out there. I'm going to go explore Blim while you're out there bounty hunting. Hey. Be careful out there. Bye. Humans are a valuable commodity. Someone might try to snatch you up. I can take care of myself, Jean. 66? What was that? What? I? Is something wrong with my face? 68. Shit. 67. Sorry, going down again. 66. 65. 64. Let's do a fast one. Here we go. 63, 62, 61, 60. For me too. It sucks for both of us, buddy. 64. 63. Wait, what? <laughs> I actually. 
forgot what number I was on. 54? Let's just skip to 50. How's that? A little freebie for both of us. 49! 48! Jesus fucking Christ. 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, any Hitchhiker's Guide fans? 42. It's canon to this universe. Everything from that series is canon. You know, I'm joking. 41. 40. 39. 38. Fuck you. 37. 36. Why didn't this countdown start at 100? Should we start it again at 100, maybe? That seems more like a round number than 85. But no, we'll spare you that trouble, because I don't want to count again. 31? 30. 29. 28. 27. 26. Hmm, okay. We're almost at the end now. 25. Isn't there anywhere else you can stand other than right in my fucking way? 23, shout out to Jim Carrey. Sorry, can't, can't shout out to Jim Carrey. I don't know if we're allowed to shout out to Jim Carrey or if he exists. Well, he does exist on the planet Earth in the sky. <laughs> don't include this bit. 22. 21. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 62, just kidding, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, Look at this, we're in the final 10 now. Here we go, this is the big, the big final countdown. Let's get the drum rolls going. All right, here we go, you made it this far, holy shit. You just stand in there, did you walk out of the room? Because if you walked out of the room, this doesn't count. We know, we'll know. 10. You gotta come back in the room, please. If you're not. Nine. Eight. You better just be sitting there, staring at your TV screen patiently, holding your controller. Six. Final five. All right. Five. Hope it's worth it. Four. Three. All right. Only two more. Two. Okay, it's not going to hit on one. It's going to hit on the number after one. It's zero. It's going to hit on zero. So don't get too excited. This next one is not quite it. One. And now. Zero! You did it! Woo! Congratulations! You can wait for the whole countdown. It's prize time, baby. You're a big fucking dipshit. There we go. Pop that on the screen. It says dipshit award. Good work. All right. Fuck you and see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to Human TV, your number one choice for the scariest human movies fresh off the newly discovered planet Earth. I'm your horrific homo sapien host, Humandor, the human. That's right, I'm a real human. But don't go hiding under those blankets or you'll miss today's chilling movie, Tammy and the T-Rex. We may not understand much about humans and their creepy lifestyles. Did you know that they worship their moms and dads and school principals? But apparently this dinosaur-centric thrill ride was one of the most famous movies of all time on Earth. Grab the blob corn and settle in for the fright of your life. Here's Tammy and the T-Rex. Only on Human TV.
Are you fucking kidding me? We had to get here when there's a goddamn sandstorm going on. Bunch of fucking sand in my eyes. No, you're, you got a helmet on. I don't, I don't. The dream team back in action. What's going down? It is so fucking dangerous out here with this fucking weather. You never know what kind of shit's gonna fly into your face with the wind and the sand, but but we should be able to make it to Drek Town if we just, you know, trudge through. Oh shit, Greebles. Look, look at them go. They eat up broken ship parts. Does it taste good? I have no idea. I'm not I'm not about to, to give it a taste test. Let's glob it to them. Through this, I, I I can't even tell which direction we're going anymore. Yeah, the G3 don't officially. Damn, this crashed ship! I'm telling you, full of ghosts. Oh, I think that's Old Town in the distance. You know, that was the first settlement out here, pre-G3. We gotta pass through there to get to Douglas. Yeah, a wreck like this is pretty normal on Port Turin. You know, this asteroid's always been a lawless land, but now that the G3 set up shop, it's even worse. You know that green stuff is toxic and will dan it will hurt you, so don't go in it into it. All right, a big desert adventure. You know it's a bounty hunter's way. You know how, how you liking it? to your boy. It's been a minute, huh? How's it going? Yeah. All right, I can see Old Town. It's just across this bridge. I swear to God, Jimmy, you talk about these support beams. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Support beams have their spot, but they are not... Whoa, 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 hey, tough whoa, guy. Whoa. Hey, 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 look, walk them wherever you want. This is a fucking Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site. We ain't done here. But you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, calm down. What the hell? How do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past Are you them. kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ and just fucking walk around like you own the place? There's a goddamn bottomless pit over here, asshole. You think you could survive that? Falling through a fucking bottomless pit down to the bottom? I don't think so. We got work to do. Okay, dipshit? Get the fuck out of here, asshole. You know? Hey, fuck you. You piece of shit. You walk in here. You're pissing me off. Me and my Mac and Cheese Brothers were pissed. You know, we're getting fucking angry. Hey, we, don't, we, don't we, fucking we, shove us. Hey, over here. We don't like doing? this shit. We don't you're like when somebody walks in and stomps all over oh, our fucking uh, garden, so to speak, metaphorically. Hey, this is our you? fucking garden. And hey, you're walking hey, all hey, over easy, the fucking easy, plants easy. we just, hey, all the, the seeds freak? we just planted, you son of a bitch. Oh, you know, we're busy over here. Oh, I can't believe what we have here. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. What's your big deal? Whoops. Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what do we, oh, what do we got? What do we have here? Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's right. Hey, what's your big deal, you? You fucking piece of shit. Hey, what the frig? 
Hey, what the hell are you doing? What's your big deal, bro? Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what are we... Holy shit, those guys are intense. You know, you could have killed them, right? I would have been fine with that, I think. You fuck with the G3? Well, you shouldn't have done that. Another wave, no problem. Shot platforming all over the place like some tough guy. Hey, fuck you. Well, great. You killed all the weird construction guys. You know, we're free to move along now like we were before we killed them. work you know it wasn't a hard thing but ni nice work Whew, all right we're, we're here we made it All right, Old Town, we just move through this place and we'll, we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you whippersnappers looking to get into Old Town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I sees him. He, he seems helpful. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? And how do we get to Dregtown? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Trek Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's old way, Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. Have a good time in there, young man. That party last night was crazy! Did you see how wasted Douglas got? Look at that weirdo in the scary bounty hunter suit! Let's get him! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It's 
cool. It's uh, uh, what do they call it? It's, it's diverse. We've got a diverse palette of things going on here in this game. You know, we got an old west shootout. Who would have fucking thought? You fucking bitch. You fucking stupid bitch. I'm sorry. I, you know, listen. I this is an old west shootout. It's cool. I'm a maternity maven. Where did you go? Who we're supposed to be shooting at? All right, let's, can we just wrap this up and find double it? Keep shooting. Uh, okay, had Red Town's past here. I just stand around and tell people that. Hey, sorry, excuse me. Is I, I just curious? Is is uh, there a fella named Douglas down there? What, like G3 Doug? Hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop or get killed. Wink, wink. Are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink. And okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill him, and, and I'll let you through. Oh, you want to talk to me? You got some questions for me? H how do you like, you know, li living in Dregtown? Oh, of course. There's always a ton of cool shit to do. Uh, gambling, shows, dodging straight bullets. This month they got Zubles doing a big show on the main stage. I'm gonna go see him and ask him to marry my daughter. You only get one shot, you know. Can, can you tell us a little bit about Dregtown? Oh, it's your classic den of sin and villainy stationed on the underside of an asteroid. You know the drill. The, the G3 kind of runs things unofficially. They're just everywhere down there. They, they got a whole training facility and everything. So, you know, classic shit, like I said. I mean, do, do you like sitting here guarding this gate? Seems kind of boring. Oh, I hate it. Worst job I've ever had. All the new G3 recruits come busting in and out all day and at all hours, running around, shooting the place up and causing trouble. I'm always really freaked out I'm gonna get shot and die, but <laughs> hey, it's a living. So, uh, you know, I'm just just making small talk here, I guess. But wh what do you what wh what do you do for fun? Oh, plenty. I usually go down into Drag Town and get fucked up. I love doing Fergals, but I've been hearing great shit about those new humans. Uh, yeah, I've been saving up to try some out. Oh, 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 and I've been binging Space Version Fraser. No, this one can live, okay? for saving me. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, but you know what? I kinda... I'm kinda thinking I would've fucked him. So now I... I don't know. I'm gonna go think about that. See you later.
the can. Fucking blam. Oof, more drunk what? recruits. Have you learned anything from Douglas? I'll get it this time. <laughs> and who the fuck, fuck are you? Fuck. You know, th thanks to us, you know, quite a team we are. Anyways, uh, l l l l let's, uh, let's poke our way into Dregtown now. Let's go to Dregtown. You did it. The town's all cleaned up. I keep tab till I don't know how many times I've told the recruits not to cause trouble out there or if someone's gonna kill them. You told us to kill Tomatoes, them. Tomatoes, potatoes. I'm just a dumb gate guard. Whatever, head on through. Town? It's way cooler than Old Town. I, Old Town's a boring dust bucket, I'll tell you that much. I hate Old Town. I just stand around here telling people how much Old Town sucks. That's what I do. That's my, that's my cool, that's what I, that gets my rocks off. Second bit for this ad. This was just about the training. Well, goddamn, that, there, there's Douglas right there. Uh, that's how you know we're in the right spot. children are in their 30s at least so this isn't about them we don't really care if they die we just happen to be moms who hate violence have fun out there wow so this is what a g3 run city looks like so like i was saying my brother told me douglas is really into torture Wait a we don't have to meet Douglas. Yeah, geez, that guy scares me. No violence allowed here. Take care. 
So, how did Mothers Against Violence come about? Well, all us moms <laughs> together at the last mom. You were all at the party last night, right? Douglas was fucked up. Oh yeah, that guy was pounding the back like a full-grown scribulon. Which are like the Irish of space, in case you didn't know. Damn, can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a good place to hide out, I mean, but yeah. Hello there, my child. I'm from a sweet little organization called Mothers for Violence. And you're about to enter a sector under our jurisdiction. That's right. There's Mothers Against Violence, and then there's us. Mothers for Violence. We're a little different. We love violence, and we want more of it everywhere. Us mothers may disagree from time to time, but there's one thing we all have in common. We're all mothers. Stay safe out there. Actually, don't. Go shoot people. We love violence. I'm Senator Thomas Michael Phillips, and I support mothers for violence. I support all the mothers. I don't stand for anything. I lack conviction. I let these mommies just boss me around, and I do whatever they ask. Dealing with some greebles over there. Okay, shit. I, I guess let's just kill them all. I'm so proud of you, son. You look, you look so good, son. Killing these weak fucks doesn't do anything for me. Whoa, look at that, look at that, they got, they, they're, they're fucking dealing with some creebles over there, dumb fucks. Okay, shit, I, I guess let's just kill them all.
Fun discs to shoot if you're interested. Go ahead, kill me. I'm not afraid of anything. Somebody better call the rip, because I'm going to murder you. Join now for extra savings. Call this number and call me dead. Call me dead. You can hide, but you can't run! Eat grenade! Know what happened to you? You just got got. I like vaporous gas. Is this what you want to do? Oh, glad we're in a mother's four violence zone. I was missing the violence. Bye, bitch. I'm afraid. I, I'm afraid. Save me the bounty hunter's bow. Go down. Ow. Call me dead. Call me dead. Call me dead. It's just like a reminder that part of my job is also torturing people. Enemies of the G3, random strangers who looked at me funny, anybody. I'll torture whoever. Doesn't matter to me. I just love doing it. Okay, that's it for this one. That's a wrap. Hey there, freaks and geeks. Check it out. It's the G3 cartel. We're hiring. We're, we're recruiting. You want to be a, a henchman in the G3 cartel? Come on down to Douglas's training center. Uh, we can't tell you where we're located because we, we can't put that on TV. That's going to be a problem for us. We're going to make you tough. We're going to make you gruff. It's really cool. We're going to put a, we're going to craft a gun onto your arm and you can just shoot it whenever you want. Then you get to wear our cool yellow goop armor. If you're someone who might get hurt easy, say no more to that. You're going to be covered in sticky yellow goop. It's very heavy. That's cool. That kicks ass. I got shot a bunch, but I was wearing that goop armor, and I only have a couple of fractures in my bones, and I did need to get surgery to remove shrapnel. Come on down to Douglas's training center. Get, do you wanna, do you wanna fuck? Well, if you're in the G3 cartel, people think that's hot, so you can fuck. G3 cartel, pretty cool. G3, fuck yeah. We rock and cock. G3, what's in your wallet? Sorry, G3 recruits only. No yellow goop armor, no entry. Beat it. Look, look, don't worry. I'm pretty sure we can figure out how to get in.
There we go. Why haven't you been using me? If you get gooped, I can let you in. You need that protection. The training exercises can be a little dangerous. One can live, Eyes okay? Open, bozo. Trust me, he's fine. I'm trustworthy, I promise. Hey, hey, you can trust me. He's fine. I'm trustworthy, I promise. Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So yeah, you want some goop, right? You know what? Yes. How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just uh, let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, don't don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oh, oh this fucking so oh my god, the smell. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking throw up. Okay, okay, I'm all right. Okay. Oh hey, my look at you. You're all gooped up. I gotta be honest, it won't last long. It's not the real stuff, so you better be quick. Get in, get out. Don't stay in there too long. Don't lollygate, because this stuff's gonna fall off. Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life-threatening injuries you may incur on these premises. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up, it's starting! Welcome, welcome, welcome! I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And would you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training? Torture? What's the difference, I say? I look to your left, difference. now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, 
If you don't, you get to join the G3. Big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is All that? All right, shut you it up. You saw that, right? I got torture that was in the a Gatlian. Do. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we got a rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Well, oh, fuck, here we go. I, I, here we shit, go. I hope it's not too difficult. Whoa, 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 whoa. Body, 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 same thing. Them, right? Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? It looks like some simple platforming. You know, like what you'd see in, like, Lucky's Tale. On, uh, you know, or, um, you know, that one, uh, that one game that we, that we all know and love. Mario Land. Really? Whatever. You got hurt? Yeah, that, l that looked like it should have been easy. You know, uh, listen, uh, you're not gonna impress me if you, if you, if you get through this. It's, it's pretty simple. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I have a pacemaker. One zap would kill me. Fuck off! Okay, l let's just get this over with. L stop messing up! Whew, fucking get that fucking jump! God damn, that was a little that, that we we made it. That was a little tough though. Congratulations, shitheads! So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Seriously, for fuck's sake, don't make us wait a whole hour. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. Okay, well, there goes that bootleg goop. Uh, I guess that didn't last for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna, gonna throw up. You really helped me? Oh, gee, I'm, I'm so grateful. Follow me! You 
gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, don't worry. This is a classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Don't even worry. Oh, how wondrous. I'm forever in your debt. I don't know how I can ever repay you. God, my poor family, my wife Pluto, my kids Swoopy and Froopy. I'm gonna get to see them soon. Hey, come on. We're, we're not gonna shoot this little guy. He's a cute little guy. Don't let's not scare him. Family back? I'm inviting you to dinner. We're gonna go to Hungry Flats and go nuts on the Red Pop. And don't hurry. I bet you're gonna solve this puzzle in no time. Wow! You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on! You're too you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Here we come! That was the hardest part behind us! This is basically done! We finished this shit! We are fully out <sighs> Okay, w w what is this? Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your training! It is now time for the final test! A bloody free-for-all! Last one standing gets to join the team three! No rules, just kill it! Holy shit, just kill them all! Oh, I'm gonna extricate this bullet from my gun into your head! <laughs> I knew this would happen. Yeah, good job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know, fight some more guys. Eat my bullets, Madam Curie!
to use my glob shot. Guess we're officially in the G3. Congratulations, graduates on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. to see you. I'm so happy we keep running into each other. Oh, look who it's our old buddy. It's our old friend, Dr. Jupy. What are you talking about? How, wh how's it going? Uh, there's another locked door. I'm running out of time. God, I'm so worried about my kids. And a little bit about my wife, but mostly my kids. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Oh, my poor kids. I hope Douglas doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Plenty calling for me. This one too. Thank you. Swoopy and Droopy would really like you too. Oh, they're good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. Well, I'd love to help, but these tentacles are too slippery. This one a little harder than the last one?
Stop trying to How kill can I everyone, repay you? Jesus. Uh, should I tip you? Uh, how much do you tip for helping solve a puzzle? 15%? 20? Do all the puzzle solvers pool their tips and then you guys split it up later at the end of the night? Or is there some kind of a puzzle solvers union? I helped a little bit, so maybe I'll just tip 10%. Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there! Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has infiltrated the G3 recruitment program, and there will be lots of violence here until we find... Huh, I guess they're talking about us. Never. Always eat your vegetables. And also remember, I'm still here, and I support any and all mothers out there. I'll believe whatever cause they ask me to believe in. Hot mothers, not hot mothers, I love mothers! Hey, it's an asshole who's been fucking with our training exercises! Oh shit, here we go!
Don't forget about Knifey! Hunter, may maybe grab some health. G3, you know, I, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. I know what you have. Doctor Jupy, you're still alive. <gasps> oh, my. Best friends, this is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah! Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? This is a hard one. Please hurry up! My family could be dying! I'm really, really trying to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices, and it's not working, to be honest! You can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy! Don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right?
Okay, I know that earlier I said, don't feel bad if this puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember, every second you take solving this is another second Douglas might be torturing and killing my family! stupid right about now he was fucking with us we got played look at us we got played we fell for it damn it <laughs> oh fuck off <laughs> i was never dr jupy there is no dr jupy are you shocked you idiots you fucking morons oh, of course you are <laughs> <laughs> and to think you never once suspected your helpless little friend, Dr. Jupy, was actually hiding his true identity. Now. We the boss! Fuck you! 
You seriously trying to get me all excited and withhold the big climax? I need to come. It's bad for my health. Ah, fuck yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Oh, no, that felt good. He had some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ah. All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Hey, if you want a celebrity cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. We're spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are gonna start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited, and get your fucking shit together. Okay, yeah, fuck that. You smell that? Pretty sure it was something. You wanna fuck these guys up? Real hat trick? My crystals stick into batteries and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife.
Go nuts! and I'll charge up a super crystal. You wanna... You're up. You're too easy. My trick hole's ready whenever. crystals so just blast some normal shots then finish them off with my super crystal you got that dipshit See what else this time bubble can do? Oh, jeez. Do I gotta spell it out for ya? Try slowing down one of the ships, then we can use it to hop across. Now hurry and cross before it wears off. Quick, cross fast. The time bubble doesn't last forever, you know. Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystals. Then you'll see why I'm the best. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. Next, you turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. Kid, another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Could 
Could you turn to Michael Brockinson, please? Uh, uh, Just a minute, uh, please. Uh, Ooh, he's in intensive care. That's room 203 down the hall. Okay, thank you. Come on. Come on. Turn in that bounty already. I gotta show you this. All right, good. Get over here. Check this out. Hello, Blim City citizens. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. Now catch this next bit. That's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Uh, feel free to stay as long as you'd like. You can visit the human haven yourself, by the way. We don't know exactly what makes humans comfortable, but I hope you like how we've set things up.
Yo! So, <laughs> it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Whatever. I need it instantaneous. And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizzas by foot? Just zap them to me. There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, warp base, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now. Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. I can help, uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait, not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. the deal another great piece of business excellent thanks god i hate giving this stuff up do you even know what you're looking for real cool suit where'd you get it here this place reeks ass. Oh, wait, that's you. Oh, hurry up. I'm kind of busy in case you didn't notice. Can you even read? Oh, sorry, partner. That's not for sale. Good eye. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty. And I'm keeping it. So, back. Good eye. That thing's a real beauty. Come back. I gotta admit, it was getting boring in there. This is how I would typically get fucked. You, over there, come over here. Somebody I've got some food me. for ya. Yeah, Thank that's you. right. Food, I said food. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? 
Or the other stuff. <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. You got a good eye. I hope you enjoy your food. What is there to talk about? I, I like it. What do you mean you like it? I like it with you. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in here? Like, anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like, seriously, come on. We're best friends now. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! You, you don't nice! Uh, Come on, you're being really. Oh, 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 I'm excited. You're laughing. It doesn't feel like you're actually finding this funny. You did now have sex with her. This is really uncomfortable. All right. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Whoops! Uh, maybe let's try that again? Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Before Tweed gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Jean, like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. 
We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you wanna get started on those. <laughs> 